Malum was directed by Anthony de Blasi and is actually a remake of his own movie Last Shift. A rookie police officer takes the last shift at a newly decommissioned station in an attempt to uncover the mysterious connection between her father's death and a vicious cult. Throughout the night, she finds herself barraged by terrifying supernatural events while unveiling the truth behind her family's twisted past. Before I continue the rest of the video, I do recommend you guys check out the original film Last Shift, which I actually have right behind me. This is a really damn good indie horror film that made good use of the very small budget that they have. And the only reason I could think of why the director would want to remake his own movie is maybe due to the fact that he probably had a bigger budget to work with, and maybe he probably looks at the original film and sees certain things that he might have wanted to change or add in. I don't know what his reason is, but the fact that the same director was actually coming back to remake his own movie definitely piqued my interest, and coming out of the theater last night, I was very disappointed in this film. The original film was just more of a claustrophobic horror film that really kept itself contained with, with the budget that they had, and I thought they did a really damn good job at that. This film, however, tries to explore a little bit more of the cult that we only got little glimpses of in the original film, and I will say I did like that aspect. I do like the fact that Anthony de Blasi decided to explore more of the history of this cult on what their purpose was and what they were exactly trying to do, whereas in the original film, they were just crazy people, and and yeah, obviously this cult is crazy and what they do is crazy, but they go a little bit more deeper into the reasons on exactly why they did it. But I like how they did it better in the original film. They didn't really give a whole lot of concrete answers. They were pretty much relying on the audience's emotions and leaving it up to their interpretation. Whereas in this new movie, it is a little bit too much on the nose, but at the same time, I still commend the director for trying to do something different from remaking his own movie. And the main actress in this film, Jessica Sula, I thought did pretty good. I remember her specifically from M. Night Shyamalan Split, and I thought she was excellent in that movie. There are some times where her performance comes off a little bit clueless, and she's not exactly sure what to do in this specific scene, but for majority of the time, I thought she did alright. And what they also do with the character in this film is that they try to have her family history kind of connect with this cult, whereas in the original film, we didn't really know a whole lot about the main character. She was just this cop that was at the wrong place at the wrong time. They also attempt to try to flesh out her character. There's this one specific scene that takes place at a cemetery where she visits her father's grave and then her mother comes to the cemetery as well and she's just completely drunk. And I feel like that setup was really weak. Like I don't understand exactly what this was doing as far as setting up character development. It was just a weak plot device that was trying to let the audience know that she probably didn't live a good life. But it's just that one scene and I feel like if they wanted to develop this character, they should have developed her, but if they didn't, then they should have just left it behind. And the other problem with this movie is that it's just not scary. Now, I don't know if that has to do with the fact that I've already seen the original film and there are certain things that they take from the original film and added in this movie because, as I said, it's a remake and, besides the little changes, Malum is pretty much the same exact movie. So it was one of those things where I felt like since I'd seen the original film, I can't really judge it based on that versus other people that probably haven't even seen Last Shift that are seeing this movie for the first time. I could say that is probably the reason, but but last night after this movie was over, I ended up talking outside for about 20-30 minutes with these two people that watched the same exact movie who hadn't even seen Last Shift and they flat out hated this movie. So I don't really necessarily think it has to do with the experience, whether you saw the original one or not. It has to do with the execution of a remake. Whether you've seen the original or not, you have to make it stand on its own. And as I said, besides the little changes, they really do nothing different with this. Some of the scare scenes actually come off in a very unintentionally funny way. There's this one scene specifically where we see like this creature that has like a star-shaped head and it looks like a fucking Teletubby. I'm not kidding, if you saw Malum then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But when I saw that specific creature I was like, is that supposed to be scary? The cinematography I think is really good, I think this is a very well shot film, but unfortunately it also lacks a lot of the great things that made the first Last Shift really creepy, which it gave a creepy atmosphere. Like the original Last Shift, you get a lot of these really creepy wide shots with the main character looking down this bright hallway as she's looking into a room that's completely pitch black, and the music itself, it really just gave Last Shift like this creepy 
eerie tone to the point where it felt very unpredictable and you couldn't really tell exactly what this movie was going to do next. However, with Malum, it completely got rid of that whole eerie atmosphere, and most of the time, I didn't really find myself feeling on edge watching the film. I was just kind of waiting for a jump scare to happen, and eventually when one does happen, you're just kind of sitting there like, really, that's it? With that being said, I was not a fan of this movie. I don't think this was an awful movie. I want to make this very clear. I don't think this movie is downright terrible, but it just feels like unnecessary because Last Shift is not even 10 years old, and I just feel like what was the point of remaking it? Because the first Last Shift was really damn good, and comparing it to this movie, it feels like Last Shift is the remake instead. And that's kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna give Malum a C. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching my reviews. Look forward to more coming soon, and I'll see you guys next time in the new video. Peace. Taking over the game one step at a time. Everybody has these dreams of being first in line. It may take a little while before we reach the light. We just gotta take what we gotta make sure.